I want to cover the 25 most important topics in relation to MGTOW. The first thing to keep in mind is that a man who has taken a red pill already has some idea of what females actually are and their true nature. He is a man who has learned the lovely truth about women. Gone are the days when he considered them to be pure innocent creatures. He now knows that a woman appeals to her hypergamy's nature. I would rather rip out your heart than be completely sincere in essentially maintaining one's presence among females. Because there is only one place for you to land on the spectrum. The MGTOW dating strategy is straightforward. First, you must decide to take varying degrees of risks when it comes to relationships. Next, when you are a part of a relationship, you must be aware of your situation and the desires of your woman in order to determine what she is actually thinking. Many contemporary women are pretty much riding the fun ride. They are out there having fun with a number of men, and they may eventually settle down. She could easily manipulate someone who is ignorant of female nature, and could be easily manipulated by her and guilt-shamed into doing everything for her. After a woman convinces her better male blue pill man that marriage is a good idea for him, she has a child or two, which at some point allows her to leave that relationship and use those children as a way to get child support from her husband. People wonder why men turn to MGTOW, and this is actually the biggest reason why they do so. Some of the viewers on this channel are elderly, and they are only now becoming aware of how depraved women really are. These viewers are here to gain an understanding of how women use their looks and behavior to manipulate men into doing everything for them. This is a lesson that young people should learn early in life. Another fundamental principle of the MGTOW, or of the movement as a whole, is the idea that women mature like milk while men mature like fine wine. Because of this, a woman's ability to attract high-quality men decreases as she gets older, whereas for men, the opposite is true. As men age, they become more wealthy and desirable in society. Men's attractiveness often increases with age because they tend to make more money as they age and often have larger bank accounts and savings, whereas generally speaking, women's earnings potential decreases along with their looks, particularly if they have children. Let us now discuss women's tests. Women have it as a mid-town demand. If you need to internalize something, it's this, women are selfish. For example, when a man tries to live for himself, women call it a midlife crisis and try to shame him back into submission. When a woman asks a man to do something over the top, she is not being loving or showing love. Instead, she is testing him to see if he can be manipulated. The ironic thing is that women want to be manipulated. This behavior is what makes marriage such a high-risk endeavor for men in today's society. In my opinion, if you want a child, go to a non-Western country, but men are also stupid, and I see many men with stupid wives every day. Women don't even like dating nice guys, rather they prefer to date jerks and bad boys. As a result, many men are becoming increasingly lonely and winding up as orbiters or learners. In either case, they are rendered unattractive to women. These men will sometimes travel overseas in an attempt to wed a woman there, but this is usually fruitless because the nature of women is the same no matter where they are. Furthermore, many foreign women will marry these men in order to obtain a new passport and enter the Western country. However, once there, she will abandon you in favor of the attractive males. As for love, the days of marrying for love are long gone. However, there are a small number of women who are marrying men because the majority of the time, a man who pursues a woman ends up in the friend zone. He becomes a utility for her, and in exchange, he receives nothing. If the man does end up marrying the woman, the marriage will be stagnant by the time he is 30 years old. Because of the sweat and blood that men poured into the economy, women now have an added level of security and have zero concerns. They have all the initiative to become hedonistic with these new technologies and apps. They are out there pursuing a greater number of men, and they can filter for the types of men they want because of these apps. He's going to hear things like, not tonight, honey. Women have changed in this way because of men and technological advances, which is a sad fact. It's a proven fact that without men, civilization would crumble, but women have easily forgotten the role that men play in the world. As a parting note, the only thing I can suggest at this time is for you to make your own decisions regarding your way of life. Modern female nature is a lie and a sham, and the only thing holding it together is the peace and stability of modern society. To support us like this video, please subscribe and make sure to send this video to the person who needs to hear it the most.